Hi everybody, I'm Eli with Pacific Edge Wine and Spirits talking about the Willet Distillery uh, and some of their four, the four releases we have here today. You're really not going to go wrong with any of these bottles. If you like whiskey, if you like bourbon, or rye whiskey, you're in a good place. Uh, um, to start, the Willet Pot Still is one of my favorite whiskeys to revisit. If you're familiar with the Willet Distillery, how they used to contract and source some of their, um, their distillates, uh, they stopped doing that. Now everything from the Willow Distillery you'll see on every bottle it says distilled, aged, and bottled at the Willow Distillery in Bardstown, Kentucky. So um, Willow Distillery is one of the oldest, still independent, still family-owned distilleries in Kentucky. Um, and yeah, let's talk a little bit about what we have in front of us. The Willow Pot Still is the only one really in the lineup that if you haven't tried it in the last year or two, you're going to be up for a trip because this is their only weeded bourbon in the core lineup. Um, if you like weeded bourbons like Maker's Mark, Weller's, um, give, uh, give a little pot still a try. Uh, um, these next uh, two, Rollins Creek and Noah's Mill, have a higher, um, higher corn content. Uh, these are distinctly different whiskeys. Uh, we're kind of walking up and proof here why these are not sitting next to each other. The Willow Pot Still is 94 proof. The Rollins Creek is 100.1 proof. Why 100.1? What tastes the best? Uh, um, and uh, Noah's Mill is 114.3 proof. These are very distinctly different whiskeys. Uh, um, Rollins Creek is a great uh, kind of battle suit whiskey, is what I call it. Um, you can drink it, any of these really. Great on our own, great cocktails. Um, yeah. So, Rums Creek, pure Kentucky, is going to have a lower corn content, still 51%. Bourbon's got to be at least 51% corn, uh, but a higher rye content. Um, pure Kentucky, I was describing like a spice ball of bourbon. This is 107 proof, it's going to hold up in cocktails, great on its own. Uh, um, give it a try. And you have Noah's Mill, uh, same mash bill as Rollins Creek, but gets some of the older whiskeys from the distillery. This is going to be your very full, very rich, kind of heavy, you know, bourbon. Sit with an ice cube. Uh, you can see how those flavors are going to develop and really hold up with that higher proof. Uh, um, the Willett Family Estate Rye, this is one of my favorite rye whiskeys on the market. I've seen you know, the proof is a small batch and the proof kind of varies. Most of what is sitting on the shelf these days are around 108, but I've seen up to 116 proof. Uh, um, what makes this rye whiskey unique, everything, um, it's a blend of two different mash bills at the distillery. One of the mash bills uh, is 51% rye, the other mash bill I believe is around 74% rye. So, blend of two different mash bills and they're making everything at the distillery. So this is uh, Kentucky dry whiskey. Uh, most rye you see on the market these days is coming from Indiana, um, but it is still a growing category. So if you like dry whiskey, give the Willow Dry a try. And we've got their eight year weeded bourbon if you can find that bottle. Um, a lot of information on the internet on this one. Um, this is 108 proof, very special bottle. Um, uh, yeah, very allocated. Good time. Thanks.